about to watch a 10-minute video describing the facilities at the Alula District Hospital, Alula, Tanzania. In January and February 2011, six medical students, three of them American and three Australian, three public health students, an occupational therapy student, a physical therapist, and five doctors spent several weeks practicing and learning alongside the Tanzanian clinicians. The video is more about the facility than the patients and doctors. There are many stories to tell, but much better told by the students who were there. This is the Medical Education and Nursing Building. It has three wonderful classrooms. It has a large auditorium upstairs. This is the trauma building. It's going to have, it does have uh, uh, a theater, meaning uh, an operating room, probably a place to fix lacerations and so forth. The actual operating rooms are down below. There is an x-ray department. This is the administration building. The very first office is uh, the um, hospital director's office. The next one is the finance office. The next one with the blue gate is the pharmacy. And the very last one is the entry to the chapel. The chapel is a multi-use room. It's used for morning rounds as well as hospital board meetings. In the future, the education building will be used for some of the gatherings, both for the hospital and for the community. The blue building is actually a container. It's on a slab. It houses many um, supplies. This is the outpatient building. This is the entry to the CTC building. This is the HIV clinic. It is uh, held Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and members receive medicines, counseling, and testing here. Uh, this is a voluntary testing. Before they receive medicines, they have visits that are counseling. We are looking down the corner of the outpatient clinic. At the very end is the outpatient pharmacy. On the left hand, on the right hand, is the registration area. This is a very busy place most days. And this is Mr. Frank Sanga, who is the pharmacist and has done such a good job. This is the hallway covered, and down the corridor is the general ward, straight down, and the building to the left is also an outpatient ward, but excuse me, an inpatient general ward. Here you see two things. The sign that says Maabara is the laboratory. In the background you see the private ward. This is the private ward. Yes. We have four um, beds on that side and a total of nine rooms altogether. And this is our excellent nurse for the private ward. Hello. Sante Sana. She has been very gracious and helpful to us. These are two little girls waiting outside the maternity ward and are quite shy. Here we have the child and maternal clinic. This is where um, 
children are seen, and this is also where the prenatal course uh, is given. And I'm turning this over to Kelsey, who is going to give a narration about the general words. So now we're about to enter the general ward. As you can see the sign there, just turn the corner. And here we are in the general ward. It makes a horseshoe. So there's rooms down this way, as well as over there and down that hall and this hall as well. I'll take you into this room where we have cared for many, many sick children while we've been here. We saw significant malnutrition, like kwashiorkor in this child. And Merasmus in this one, who died about two hours after admission. But children are resilient, and seeing them improve provided some small triumphs. Now I'll take you into another area of the general ward where a nine-year-old boy who's a burn patient has been staying. He's right over here. He's been here for pretty much the entire time we've been here. Damien suffered a common injury when he fell into a cooking fire splashing the hot water that caused these burns. Mom brings his food and does some of the dressing changes. He can still smile. Here's where one of the TB patients has been staying for a while. And here's another room in the general ward. And here's the other side of the general ward. So we actually entered the general ward right through there. And a lot of laundry happens out back there in the yard. Yes, daily life goes on around the hospital, with families cooking and providing food for their patients, doing their own laundry, and even catching an occasional nap. We are looking in at the OB ward. In the background in the white coat is Dr. Savelo, and this is Dr. Saga in the front. And here is Dr. Ndipisi. Dr. Saga performs indispensable service with his ultrasound expertise, especially for the OB practice. One of the doctors is skilled at spinal anesthesia. All of them do C-sections and care for newborns. made unique contributions, from manufacture of a neutral position splint to delivering excellent didactic lectures to the staff. We had excellent living quarters, 
even if the water was cold, as well as rounds, we spent time in discussion of tropical diseases. We saw malaria, typhoid, TB, HIV, and a host of other exotic diseases. We even saw some familiar diseases now emerging in Africa, such as diabetes, hypertension, and strokes. We covered some philosophic topics too, like the meaning of working in another culture. But it wasn't all work. We managed a few wind downs at the Peace Garden and had time for an outstanding two day safari. Yolula District Hospital is a great place to learn. Thank <laughs> you.